Hi friends, welcome to this lecture number 10. In this lecture, you will learn how to interact with the web elements using Selenium in C-Sharp.net. In this lecture, you will learn below topics, how to work with uh, edit boxes, drop downs, then how to work with check boxes, radio buttons, how to know if the check box or, a check box or a radio button is selected or not, if certain element is enabled or disabled then if certain element is displayed or not so all these things we will be covering in this particular lecture so let us start over here i have got one test method that is test interactions and over there i have created a simple program to demonstrate all these things so this particular line actually finds the element whose id attribute is equal to fn and then stores into this particular variable or the object variable then what we are doing here is uh, sending the keys in that particular first name edit box so over here in this particular page we have got this first name edit box so we are entering value in that and to read the value from the particular edit box we need to use this particular method get attribute and then which attributes value we want uh, to know so this value attribute we want to get so we have passed value over there similarly you can get the uh, any attributes value by just passing the attribute name over there then next thing what we have done is enter the trump so you can ignore this it's not relevant here next thing that uh, i've done over here is uh, trying to select work with the drop down so over here in this page we have got this city drop down and let us say you want to select brisbane in that drop down so how to do that using selenium so for that what you have to do is you have to first of all find the that drop down in this format like using xpath or css here i have used tag name then after that what you have to do is you have to use the select element this class we have to use and you can notice that that particular class is available in this particular namespace open qsrdm support dot ui and for that you will need the reference called as web travel dot support so earlier i had shown that how to get the web driver installed through the nugget package manager similarly you can get this web driver dot support as well without that this particular uh, you will not be able to like work with the drop downs so the select element class is available in that namespace and then what we have to do is that element you have to pass to that uh, constructor of the select element and then once you got uh, get the drop down you can use this particular method select by text method to f uh, select the value from that drop down and after that let us say you want to print the value that is selected uh, in the drop down then you can use this syntax selected option not text which will print the selected value the next thing uh, that i have done over here is found the qtp checkbox so on this page you can notice that there is one checkbox qtp checkbox so what i'm doing there is finding that uh, qtp checkbox and then clicking on that and after clicking what i'm doing here is that the selected method returns true if the checkbox is selected then enabled uh, this property returns true if that checkbox or any element is enabled otherwise it returns false and if it is displayed it returns true this particular property and finally we have got this and finally what we have done is that we have found the uh, gender radio button and then clicked on that so it's really straightforward uh, example and then i am going to execute this so that all the concepts will be clear i'm gonna build the solution uh, the main purpose of building the solution is that uh, this test will appear on the left hand side in the text explorer after building the solution otherwise as you can see right now this particular test test interactions is not available on the left hand side in this test explorer and after the building the solution as you can see this has appeared over there and it is easy to run from this particular menu so what's gonna happen over here is it will first enter the Donald in the first name then select Brisbane from the drop down and then click on the QTP checkbox in that web page as you can see it is selected Brisbane then also selected the QTP 
checkbox. So if you look at the output of this particular test method, value entered is Donald, selected via cities, Brisbane, QTP select checkbox is selected to enable to display true because that was checked and finally we have got some exception saying it didn't find this particular element so you, you can get this no such element exception if selenium, selenium doesn't identify the element so it didn't find this gender so let us just inspect that and then check what is the property as you can see its uh, gender is in the smaller case but since we had given this in the upper case it didn't find it all right so that ends our lecture number 10 that is interacting with elements and in this lecture we have seen how to work with edit box drop down checkbox radio buttons and also find out if the element is selected enabled or displayed using selenium in c sharp.net thanks for watching this lecture